What's going on guys, it's Jake from Wisconsin Sports Central and today we're going to be discussing uh, the Packers 2019 and 2020 season. Um, I just wanted to uh, briefly go over uh, you know, some highlights of the season as well as uh, determining whether this season was a success or not. Um, so uh, to, to begin even before the season, um, on January 7th Matt LaFleur was hired. Um, you know, he was... He was a uh, a guy that not many people knew. Um, you know, he he was the offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans um, before he got the head coaching job in Green Bay, um, and he, he wasn't necessarily proven. However, he did come from the Shanahan coaching tree, and as we know, that has produced uh, some great coaches. Obviously, Kyle Shanahan, uh, the son of uh, uh, Mike Shanahan, who is going to be uh, in Super Bowl Fifty Four as much as that hurts to say as a Green Bay Packer fan. Um, but, you know, uh, Matt LaFleur, going into the season, there wasn't, you know, high expectations, I would say. However, um, you know, I, I would I myself was very uh, optimistic of uh, LaFleur, uh, you know, coming in to the season. Um, you know, Goot, uh, Goot picked up some fantastic free agents. Uh, obviously, Zadarius, uh, Preston Smith, um, just, just some real difference makers. Um, I'll be quite honest. I, w I was not too, uh, familiar with the Smith brothers, um, going into the season. Uh, however, I know that we needed the, those edge, uh, guys or the, that, that pass rush that we, that we were, we were really lacking in the two years that we did not make the playoffs. Um, and I obviously, I mean, we, we we take a look back at the season and we see just just how explosive and how incredible those guys are, and I am very excited for uh, continued success for those guys uh, heading heading into next season. Um, another free agent acquisition we got uh, Adrian Amos, who, I mean, you know, you heard the slander. I mean, from Chicago Bears fans of. You know they got they got Haha and we got Adrian Amos and they believe that that Haha was a better uh, player than than Adrian Amos was, and uh, I, needless to say I I think that uh, Ad Amos proved himself uh, to be the better player, um, better safety, um, and uh, one other acquisition we got was Billy Turner, um, and you know the good thing about um, about Billy Turner was uh, he, he was an offensive lineman, and obviously those guys don't really get too much shine. However, um, you know, when, when you are an offensive lineman and your name is not brought up a lot, that means that you're doing your job. Uh, it's the same thing with Elton Jenkins, who we, who we took in the third round of the, of the draft. Um, just an incredible rookie. Um, and uh, he, was, he was really a difference maker on that offensive line. I believe I saw a stat going into the playoffs that he didn't allow a single sack on any of his pass blocking attempts. Didn't let anyone inside or anything, or when he was doubling, uh, you know, he, he didn't let anyone inside. Uh, you know, it was a, a, a fantastic uh, a job by that rookie uh, Elton Jenkins there. Um, and, you know, so now getting more into the season, um, you know, we started off 3-0, uh, obviously had that huge uh, first game victory against the Chicago Bears in a low scoring game, 10-3. Um you know, beat the Vikings, uh, you know, that was, we jumped up to a quick lead, but, you know, it, it, it kind of slowed down after that, but, you know, we were still able to come away with the win, Kevin King had a huge, uh, interception in that game, and, uh, yeah, so we started off 3-0, and uh, we had that very, very tough loss, uh, to the Philadelphia Eagles, who eventually went on to make the playoffs, so I guess, in hindsight, it, you know, it really wasn't, uh, I guess you could say a quality loss, like they would say in uh, in college football, um, and you know, you look you look back at the season and where we started, and uh, you know all the all the analysts saying like, oh, this you know first year head coach, um, you know every new system, new offense because he was going to be calling the plays, um, you know, and it is it's for sure uh, you know cause for concern for some people. But I think I think Packer fans were were ready for uh, what what the season was uh, going to bring. Um, so after that, you know, we had a, we dropped that game to the Chargers, uh, convincing wins over over the Raiders, a pretty convincing win over the Broncos, um, and obviously that uh, beatdown against the Forty ers in Santa Clara in the regular season. Uh, those are only three losses on the season. 
Um, I, I'd say the absolute highlight for the team and for us as fans was definitely um, beating Minnesota in Minneapolis uh, to take the NFC North uh, division crown. Uh, you know, back on top, which is where we all know the Packers belong. Uh, you look at the other teams in the, in our division, and it's it's not it's not great. Um, so seeing us get back to where we were supposed to be was was huge. It was it was massive for us. Um, and then obviously we had uh, that tough game against uh, the Lions, uh, week seventeen. You know, the one that consider that uh, determined us getting a first first round bye, or um, you know, having to play in wild card weekend, and uh, we were able to uh, hold on, make a little comeback there, and uh, you know, pull off the win there and get that first round by. Um, so all things considered, uh, you know, I I look back at this at this season, um, I consider this season an absolute win uh, in in all facets. Um, I mean, like like I was saying at the beginning, you know, first year head coach in Matt Lafleur. Uh, new offense, new system, which was a much needed change from what uh, Mike McCarthy's system was. Um, you know, I'm I, I'm super happy with uh, with Matt Lafleur, and I think he's going to be a great coach. I think the future for this team is is incredibly bright. Um, obviously, there's a lot of guys, uh, free agents this year that uh, we're probably going to have to let go, uh, which is going to be a huge blow. However. Um, this draft, this college, uh, draft class that's coming up is, is just, just a fantastic class. And I'm very, very excited to, uh, um, you know, see what the Packers choose and what weapons, uh, we could get. And I might, I think I'm going to make a separate video about my, uh, my Packers mock draft, uh, my predictions for what, what our needs are and what, who the, the playmakers are that I think we're going to pick up. Um, so I'm going to be making a separate video about that probably tomorrow, some, sometime soon. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, like I said, this season, uh, it, it was definitely one that I wasn't entirely expecting. Um, you know, I, at the beginning of the season, I looked at our schedule and I was thinking, man, this is, you know, this, this might be a little tough. Uh, you know, there's obviously you can never know going into a season how good a team is or how poorly a team is going to perform. Um, you know. And so I, at the beginning of the season, I, I was thinking, okay, you know, 10 and six, I think 10 and six is going to be, is going to be our mark. Um, you know, which, which could have been enough to be second place in the North, depending on how bad, um, you know, um, other teams perform. Obviously this is going into the season. We have absolutely no clue how good a team is going to be, how, uh, how well they're going to perform. Um, so yeah, when I was going into the season, I predicted 10 and six and, you know, seeing a 13 and three, team with uh Aaron Rodgers uh obviously hitting you know coming to the last stretch of his career uh here in Green Bay I you know it it, it was cause for concern uh, and aging Rodgers and uh you know really only one absolute or two absolute playmakers on our offense which is obviously Aaron Jones and Devontae Adams um you know, us winning 13 games and just, no matter what any of the media or the 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 people that uh, will do anything to take down the Packers have to say. I absolutely believe that this season was uh, was a success, and it's one that I'm going to remember. Um, you know, with under Matt Lafleur, which I think we're going to have many years ahead with him. Uh, you know, first year head coach going 13 and three is just it's not something that you see, um, you know, that often and hardly ever, I should say. Um, especially with the new offense, I'm I'm extremely extremely happy with uh, what we were able to do this season. Um, and I don't think, you know, I, I, I don't think I could have pictured a, a, a better, a better season. Well, despite us going to the Super Bowl, but you know, we, we were just outmatched, uh, against the four, against the 49ers in, in the NFC championship. It, they were just the better team. Uh, you look back at it, they are, you know, they are the better team, fantastic pass rush. Um, obviously they have absolute weapons at running backs. They got a three headed monster back there. Obviously we have a dynamic duo in, Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams, however, uh, you know, they got uh, uh, Mostert and Breida and Coleman, who who all can make plays uh, for their um, for their running back core. Um, and, you know, I I think I truly believe that next season we're going to we're going to be back right there. And who knows? It could be against the 49ers again. 
and uh, it, it could be a different result. Um, I, uh, I'm i very much looking forward to the 2020 and 2021 season for the Green Bay Packers. I think, I, I think we're going to have continued success, and um, soon uh, we're going to, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to be on his way out, but uh, we can start looking for his replacement very soon, have him... Uh, have Aaron Rodgers take him under the wing and uh, hopefully teach him a few things about how to be obviously the the most talented quarterback of all time and uh, the greatest of all time uh, just so we're clear um, but yeah um, so all in all this season was incredible it's one I'm going to remember um, and I'm already looking forward to the next season um, so yeah, I, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to check out the video. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe for my Packers, uh, Badgers, Brewers, and Bucks coverage, um, I will be hopefully making game recaps uh, depending on you know my availability on the day. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you checking out uh, this video on the channel. Uh, please consider subscribing. It would uh, help out a lot, and uh, hopefully you enjoy my content. Um, so... Um, until next time, this was Scott's Sports Central, and I'll see you guys later.